Well, hello and welcome to this brief demonstration of the new Express Maintenance mobile app. And uh, we're proud to bring this to you today. Uh, with the Express Maintenance mobile app, it is a tablet application currently. And so uh, it will connect directly to your Express Maintenance database. I won't get into the details of how it does that, but you can use it through data connections or Internet connections, Wi-Fi, intranet, internet. Um, and so we have had this deployed now since September of 2018, and a lot of people are really enjoying it. So um, the, the main usage of the Express Maintenance mobile app, its, uh, its main purpose is to provide your technicians and requesters the ability to access the Express Maintenance or Express Request uh, application and be able to submit uh, or complete work orders through those systems. And so 90% of what you can do inside Express Maintenance is uh, you can perform in the mobile app. So let's just jump right into it. If I'm a technician, uh, or let's start with the requests. If I'm a requester, then I can go right into requests and I can enter a new request. Now, you're seeing the mobile app on my Windows computer. I have Windows 10, which is able to run Windows apps and it is also available on the iOS and Android stores. Uh, if you would like to trial the mobile app, you can just simply email us at info at mass.systems and we will set you up with a trial and we will get you connected to our database, set you up with a user account so you can play around with it and see if it's uh, something that's going to work for you and your team. Uh, so as a requester, I can come in and uh, request a work order on any piece of equipment and any service. So once I select, and I would be selecting this with my finger, uh, but I could just pick a piece of equipment, select a service. Here's my drop down of services. I can enter my request notes. And of course, this would, uh, once you tap on this screen, the keyboard would pop up. And then I can save it. And now that, of course, would go into the requests list, where as a express maintenance technician, I could see all of the requests currently in, um, in status. So I can search uh, based on status, and we'll say it's uh, for submitted, and hit search. And here's all of the submitted requests and this will be how it opens up the next time I go to it. So if I want to, I can create a work order right from here. I won't get into that for time's sake. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what the capabilities are. So let's go into the work orders. Now these are the work orders, and you can see I can see everybody's work order, or I can limit this just down to the work orders that are assigned to me. And there are those work orders that are assigned to me. I can select the work order and here I can uh, see the unit, the priority, the reference, category, source requester, site, location, the employee, the work group, its current class for planning and scheduling, the scheduled start date, completed date, labor hours, downtime, and current count. Down here we have our services and this is a this is the list of the services that you would typically see on the express maintenance work order screen. Here you have your parts that are used. If I wanted to add a part, I could just go over here, hit insert, and then this right here will allow me, if I hit this barcode scan, uh, it will allow me to, using the camera on my tablet, take a picture of that barcode and it will fill out this information for me. Uh, so we're really excited about that. That's something we've been hoping for for a long time. So then we also have uh, work order notes, and so you can place your notes here. We also have a new tab, and you'll find this in the latest version of Express Maintenance too. A place for technician notes. So as you know, if you've used Express Requests, whenever the requesters submit requests, those notes automatically uh, pull in to the work order notes field. Well, we wanted a place where technicians could write their own notes right onto the mobile app and then that transfer over to Express Maintenance. So that's what the technician notes are for. This is like um, if you're performing a PM, you want to take a note of a work order that you created or some uh, some findings during on that PM or specific things that you did to, um, uh, to complete a repair or something like that. That's where the technician notes go. Uh, so pretty excited about all of that. So going back to home, real quick, I'm going to take you uh, through the equipment. 
This is just a, a list of all of our equipment. If I select the equipment, I can look at the image of the equipment as long as it's been loaded in express maintenance. Um, I can scan equipment here uh, to populate information. Um, and then you have your standard equipment information, name, number, type, category, make, model, criticality, capacity, year installed, uh, your site location, all that information that you would typically see on the equipment screen. I also have my safety notes, my services and PMs. Now I can't, you'll notice I can't modify this. This is just for reference. Okay, so this falls under that 10% of things that you can't do inside the mobile app. Is cre You can't create your PM program in here. That's got to be created in Express Maintenance desktop version. Then you can also see all your uh, work orders and your parts list. All right, so then uh, going back home, look at my parts. Here's a list of all my parts. Again, I have search capabilities, and I can select a part to see its information. I look at open purchase orders and assigned units. All right. Then I can go into receiving, and I can create a new receiving document. Okay. Again, I can insert and scan parts uh, that way. Um, and I can also go right to purchases and create new new POs if I wanted to. Uh, so for the most part, your purchasing and receiving are mostly for reference, uh, but you can receive parts in through the mobile app, and that can be pretty pretty handy. So that's a, a just a brief overview. Uh, we're excited to bring this to you. We hope that you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us at info at mass.systems. Again, my name is Eric Waymeyer, and I look forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.